Oh no, my ramp. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a little redline Shelby turbine. Oh, and yes, that was a Ray Mysterio semi truck and trailer. Beautiful, right? So these cars are pretty cool. As you can see, ours is in an aqua spectra flame, which is a very common color. A couple things to look out for. If you're shopping cars, the rare ones have white interiors. This one, as you can see, is black. There's also champagne, which is a little bit more rare, but then super rare is white. And the windshields are important as well. This one has a blue windshield. If you come across one that's got a clear windshield, you would think, oh, it's an American one. No. On these specific cars, the clear ones are prototypes. The technology in this engine actually went on to be similar to what's in the M1 Abrams tanks. So, food for thought. Turbine engine. Very cool. Friday's video, this ghost. Man, that just killed me. I was <laughs> laughing so hard editing that in. This one's going to be tricky, I can tell already. The post on this is going to be so short. So there's going to be no room for error when uh, drilling our hole. Very carefully. Ah, nice. A little sneaky passage. It's like a little boat. That's the kind of racer I should make for 3D Bot Maker if he ever gets back to my email. Send him a red line. These things are built for racing, aren't they? Remember. Look at this teeny little windshield. Holy, how am I going to clean that up? Very carefully. As long as I can clean up this top end, I think it should be a real nice little piece. Single seater. <sighs> Maybe. It'd be Jimmy sized if he had uh, some leg room. All right, so let's get this thing stripped. We'll get it going in the jar of clean strip. <laughs> Woo, woo, where'd my paint go? It's gonzo. All right, so this, uh, yeah, that was an easy one. I'm gonna go clean this up, I'll be right back. It's burning, it's burning my fingers. We got our body nice and cleaned up. This thing is actually in fairly good condition. Oh yeah, there's definitely could use a little bit of zinc. So if I leave this how it is, this darker area right here, that's gonna show up through our paint. So I am gonna replate this. But before I do that, I want to make sure that this thing's nice and smooth. Clean up any of these spots. This little thing's a reamer for cleaning out airbrush tips. I got a bunch of these and they work really good for getting into the little nooks and crannies. There's our little body. Just gonna hang it on my little stainless wire here. Everything's in the way. Ready and contact. Mince bubbles. So we're probably going to leave this in here for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I want to check on it periodically, but um, yeah, we'll give it a decent coat. All right, let's have a look at it here. Not bad for the first one. So I ended up giving it two separate uh, zinc applications to get that nice uniform shine. So now I'm ready to do a polish. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. I think that's gonna gonna look real great with a, a nice coat of aqua on top of that. My plan is is uh, we'll do the paint and then we'll put on our decal package and then I'm gonna clear coat those decals in so they're locked in there forever. So I think what I should do is uh, go give this a quick coat of paint because I need to get that dried before I can put decals on at all. So I should drill these holes first. Yes, yes. Uh, since I already got this mess, I might as well do something with the base. I've got the body painted. I didn't film it because we're in the middle of setting up a new camera. Actually, I'm going to film the clear coat though, so hopefully that's good enough for today's video. 
bunch of people were complaining about how poor the camera quality was and I get it this is what we were using in the paint booth for now just a little 4k action camera but it's a piece so we've upgraded today and we have a digital zoom so hopefully we get nice and close like we used to back in the day in the old setup but the first thing we're gonna do we're just gonna wire wheelie this up quick with a brass wire wheelie I like this Got a little bit too much uh, polish baked on here, so I'm gonna go just give it a rinse quick. And then I'll probably do a little bit more polishing with this uh, white wheel. I'm gonna finish it up. The strings everywhere. Jimmy just got ran over. That's looking pretty sharp. Could have got that like mirror finish, but I would have had to sand that and I didn't want to sand it. Got some fresh wheels here. Quick. Beautiful. Watch the grill, homie. Check this out. This is Jimmy's Grand National. Excuse me, Jimmy. You gotta show off your car. Removable front clip. Check it out and all its majesty. Pretty cool little design. Put this back on. Click. Oh, Jimmy, it looks so comfy. I'd like to do a rim swap on this thing one day. Those aren't bad, I guess. I think it could be cooler with some aftermarket ones, but I don't think this is going to be a paint project. That's a cool car. I feel like we have to be very careful with this. Let's get in as tight as we can on this little thing. So the top's pretty rough. The sides aren't too bad. So it's looking better already. If I just polish that lip now, this thing probably wouldn't be in too bad a shape. But for that, we need to use a felt wheel for doing windshields. If you use one of these cloth type ones, you'll just cut right through that thing more than likely. So we're gonna use a felt one. And this is going to be a pretty low RPM, pretty low RPMs on this. We don't want to go too high. <laughs> As you can see, we have exceeded the RPM limit for this particular wheel. Let's try this again. Definitely got that edge all cleaned up. That's looking really nice, actually. I don't have any future shine or anything to dip this in yet because we're still getting set up. I mean, yeah, we've been putting out content, but for the most part, we're still getting set up. But I think that's looking good enough as it is. Way better than what we started with. Should clean the crusties out of here, maybe. Yes. Freshen that up. Hmm, what else do we need? So I'm gonna just put on what was there before, which was these Hot Wheels badges, the Shelby, and the 6.9. And then the rest of these, we'll just save for another project. Is that really the number on this car? <laughs> Seems inappropriate. Something like that. Vintage. I like it.
Alrighty, here's our body. Looking very nice. Let's see if I can't make this happen here. Easy, easy. Sweet. So there's our little Shelby turbine, looking pretty sharp. I think that aqua is one of my favorite Spectra Flame colors. Which colors do you guys like? I'm curious. I bought 10, 10 different colors this time around, so we have a few to play with. Um, like I said earlier, we're still getting set up and I'm hoping to do some more projects that I'm really interested in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got a few more things coming up this week, so I guess I'll see you in a couple days.